Hello, everybody. Welcome right to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici, and we are going to have some fun today. We are playing with, this is such a beautiful stamp set. Always the snowflakes are some of my favorites. So today we are going to be playing with, this is called the Sparkling Snowflakes Stamp Set. Uh, fun sentiments. So we've got winter greetings, let it snow, and one more make the season sparkle, which of course with sparkly snowflakes, right? From the smart, sparkling snowflake stamp set. Hey, Tracy, how are you? Welcome. Um, oh, and then there's actually a little for you down there also. So beautiful imagery. There's actually a punch that coordinates with this stamp set, part of the bundle. I didn't even get the punch. I'm really not sure why. It's kind of like a tag topper punch that has um, kind of a half of a snowflake on the top of it. So very, very pretty. Carla, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, so anyway, we're not going to see that today since I don't have it, um, but I promise we have some beautiful projects that we're going to be making later on today with that sparkling snowflake stamp set. I think you're not going to want to miss those projects because they are beautiful. And I, well, actually the ribbon, like I'm obsessed with ribbon right now. So lots of beautiful ribbon that we're playing with and the gems and all the other fun bling and so on. So yeah, so lots of fun we'll be having. Also, oh, I want to make sure everybody knows. So uh, let me try to scan over here the calendar. So next Tuesday, November 7th, we have a bunch of new products that are available in the online exclusives only section of the Stampin' Up! website. What that means is, and I've been trying to get that out there, kind of get the word out, that online exclusives basically mean you can't find them in any of our catalogs. So they're not in the annual catalog. They're not in the holiday mini catalog. They won't be in the new spring mini catalog. They're only available. You can only see them online, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you're ever seeing products that you're like, I have not seen that in any catalog, there's a reason because it's part of the online exclusive. So I ordered a couple of them. I didn't get all of them. And actually the kind of interesting thing is, and they've been doing this to us, so they'll kind of like flash up a banner like on our Stampin' Up! website and there are products on there that you're like but I can't order that yet like there's a cute little like it looks like a soda can um, like stamp and die set um, and of course I tried to have it, have it pulled up on my computer and now the computer just went dark um, so I can't even quite remember what the one sentiment is but anyway if you like um, soda cans it's kind of a cute like fun like um, just a like fun, right? Fun um, kind of imagery in that stamp set. Watch for that because I don't even know what it is, but it'll be available on November 7th. Um, I think there are a couple of other things that they kind of show on there that we can't even order. What I was able to order are, let me show you, I've got this beautiful, this is the Garden Meadow stamp set. So again, only available online. I'm going to read the sentiments to you because they're always backwards, right? So I can't imagine having a better friend. That's an awesome sentiment, right? Happy birthday, thinking of you, and every day is a fresh start. And then hello, and then lots of kind of garden imagery in that stamp set. There is a set of dies that coordinate, so they'll die cut a bunch of the images in that stamp set as well. I don't have those, um, but you can see them online starting on November 7th. So if you're interested in that stamp set, take a look at that. Also, ooh, and I should open this, shouldn't I? Ooh, all right, hold on. Let me, I gotta grab my scissors here because I want you guys to see. Oh my goodness, you know what I did? Oh boy, okay, so I gotta think about this. So I'm heading to my girls' craft o -rama weekend this afternoon after Facebook Live, and I was like uh, frantically kind of packing everything up last night, and I already put my scissors and adhesive and all that stuff in my totes to take with me, but I need those for Facebook Live projects right now. So um, give me one sec, I've gotta go find, I've got, I wanna open this um, designer series paper for you, but I need my scissors to be able to do that and adhesive to be able to make these projects later. So hopefully they're in a really, okay, yes. Okay, good, I got lucky. They're in a very easily accessible, <laughs> the top, the top box in the tote. Okay, shoo, all right, so that's good. So. All right, this is called, what is this? The Meandering Meadows Designer Series Paper is what we have here. And it's more of this kind of looks like Monet paintings. <laughs> That's all I can think of when I, look, when I look at this paper. So I'm gonna pull it out. And okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna show you each of the patterns. So you kind of get the idea, right? Doesn't that look like a Monet painting? And then some kind of wood grain. I haven't even looked at this paper yet either. So we're gonna have some fun. 
kind of checking it out. Ooh, there it is, right? What was it called? Meandering Meadow, right? That's probably, well, I guess there are lots of them that kind of look like that. Lots of like meadows, right? Might be in like, I always think of like Italy or T Tuscany, right? Like the Tuscan Hills, right? Maybe this would be um, some kind of imagery that you might see there. That one is beautiful too, right? Okay, so again, ooh, beautiful. The, the, they look kind of like, um, totally drawing a blank. They're not uh, Black Eyed Susans. That's what they look like, right? So then there's the back side of that one. Um, we've got a couple more. Beautiful, right? Meandering Meadow, right? I think that's what it's called. Do, 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 do. Yes, Meandering Meadow Designer Series Paper. So obviously it's, obviously it's all six by six Designer Series Paper. This is just gorgeous though. We've got a couple more patterns still too. So pretty, pretty, right? Okay, three more to go. So they're similar, similar yet different, right? Okay, there's that one. So there are 12 different patterns is what they always do. So you got front and back. So you end up with 48 sheets of beautiful designer series paper in that Meandering Meadows designer series paper. They also have, and I think, trying to remember if I saw that these are unorderable. So demonstrators were able to order, you know, like a package of each of these things kind of in our pre-order. Um, and these might possibly not be quite available right on November 7th, but um, they're gonna have to replenish these because uh, customers haven't even had a chance to get them yet. So these are the adhesive backed dragonflies and birds. So you can kind of see, they're kind of like those brushed brass butterflies, right? So these are more of, Maybe, I don't know, I guess they're, they're similar, right? So again, the adhesive backed dragonflies and birds right there. So those would be beautiful, right? Meandering through your um, meadow designer series paper, right? And then, <laughs> this is such a cute stamp set. We have the fluffiest friends stamp set. So look at all those chubby little critters there, right? And then, and I did get these, there is a set of dies that will die cut <clears throat> all of our little fluffy, fluffy, pudgy friends. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, so then, yeah, there is the set of dies that will coordinate with that stamp set. So again, all of these things will be available to order starting next Tuesday, November 7th. The easiest way to find these is just go to stampinup.com. Uh, click on, I think it's new or what's happening now or something like that. Um, or you can even type in the search bar online exclusives and anything that's available online only will pop up on there too. So if you go right now, those aren't going to show up. But again, on Tuesday, November 7th, they will show up and be available to order. So take advantage of that while you can. Some, so the other deal with the online exclusives is they always say they're only available while supplies last. Now, I don't know how they decide. Some things might go unorderable, um, but they're not like not ever going to be available again. Um, they'll order more and when it comes in, they'll be available again. Some of them, when they sell out, they sell out and that's that. So you just never know. So if there's anything there that you love, order it on Tuesday, November 7th. So you make sure you get it and then you don't have to worry about um, whether you know you could get it later or not, right? So let me know if you have any questions on that or if there's anything you're interested in ordering and you're like, I'm gonna be out of town, I'm not gonna have access to my computer, my phone, whatever, email me and I can get your order put in for you. So I don't want you to miss out on these things and I'm happy to um, you know help you out and put orders in for you if that's easier for you, okay? So just let me know, you can email me. My name, amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. My last name is spelled F R I. L-L-I-C-I, so amy.frilici at yahoo.com. That's the best way to get in touch with me and let me know if you'd like to order anything. Jerry, hello, welcome. It's good to see your name pop up here. I hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, okay, so you guys were so gracious in helping me reach that $400,000 400, in sales mark back at the end of September. We got in there just in the nick of time and I received my pin, my $400,000 in sales. Well, I have to show you because the box, <laughs> I'm like a kid or like a cat or something, right? Who loves like the packaging as much as what, what is inside. So these, I think I got another pin not too long ago that came in this box also. So I saved these boxes because I think they're so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but at some point I'll figure it out. 
Um, okay, I need my glasses. This is a very small print. When I went to uh, Grand Rapids yesterday um, and had dinner with my kids and my glasses, I just have a bunch of readers. They fell um, in between the seats in my car and I couldn't get to them easily. Of course, I was driving. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be digging around in there while I'm driving. And then I forgot about them, walked into the restaurant, met my kids. And then I was trying to read the menu and I was like, Cade, can you read this? Like I couldn't read anything. So eventually he was like, mom, I'm going to go get your glasses out of the car for you. So that was very nice of him because I was really struggling to be able to read. Um, but okay, so here we go. Oh, I guess it's in a bunch of different languages. So it says, congratulations on your sales milestone. Thank you for loving what you do. And then this is, so the sales milestone pin. And then this one, if you can see, I gotta take these off now with the glare, right? Um, so it's a Stampin' Up! And then it's got four little um, gems there, meaning for each $100,000. So maybe, hopefully sooner than later, I'll get my little fifth dot in there, my little fifth gem in there at $500,000 in sales. So we'll see when that happens, right? So hi, Philomena. Hi, Bonnie. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, ladies. Okay, so we did that. Um, I have so many things I want to show you guys today. So I'm trying to see. Uh, oh, and then also, <laughs> so this is kind of fun. Um, Stampin' Up! announced their top, um, I guess, top, like overall um, top whatever. I don't to think of how many it even went to so I was in there though maybe it went to 200 um so you know they um by country right so the U.S. has so many demonstrators um so I think they put like the top 200 to give you an example like in Canada which is also a huge country but not nearly as many demonstrators um I they gave well the top 10 and then maybe it was in, like the top 20 or top 30 um so that kind of gives you a perspective like they kind of do it as a percentage of like totals right so maybe if they had top 30 that's like in comparison we had they um showed like the top 200 demonstrators because we have so many more demonstrators in the u.s so i made it to number 126 so it was funny i was talking to um mike so what's funny is mike will pop on here sometimes this is a guy that i've been dating for a while and he's an awesome awesome dude um but what's so funny is he'll pop on here sometimes on facebook live just to say hi and probably drive me crazy uh, but I was I was jokingly talking with him last night saying, you're talking to the number 126th demonstrator in the United States right now. So <laughs> he got to check a lot of that because I'm like, what well, you know, it is it is an accomplishment. Right. But, you know, I'm not I'm not up in that super high top tier, but I love what I do. And I love all of you guys being a part of what we're doing here. So thank you for your support and in, in enabling me, helping me to get to that number 126 mark in the United States. So thank you very much, ladies. Uh, okay, so we are, and I've seen a couple people say that they have been sharing too. And thank you, Philomena. <coughs> so my cold, I still haven't, I really thought I wasn't even going to have much of a cold. And here it is still like hanging on um, a whole week later. So it's kind of annoying. But anyway, so that's why I sound a little bit nasally. Okay, so um, I have to tell you guys, so um, I went through all of the shares because I decided we're doing something new. It's been too easy for you guys. Um, and I want, I'm like really hoping to reach more people too. So don't forget when you share this Facebook Live video, you can't just share it to your personal page anymore. If there's any crafting, any paper crafting group or just crafting group that you're a part of, share this video to that group and that is what is gonna get your name in this basket right here, okay? So sharing this Facebook Live video to any crafting group that you're a part of, I need to be able to see the link. So if I, see, if I just see your name and that you shared, that tells me that you just shared on your personal profile page. Um, and if you have any questions on how you do that, because I know somebody was trying to um, share that, um, and I did kind of go through on my phone because I generally do everything on my computer too, but I did see, so and now I'm trying to like visualize, what did I see when I was trying to help her? Um, but there's definitely, you know, if you click on this video and you click share, it automatically is gonna try to just post to your personal Facebook profile page. But it was down at the bottom where you could, 
choose like another option and you want to click on groups and then whatever groups you're a part of will pop up and you just pick one of those and I'd love if you make some kind of a comment as well um, about the you know about this Facebook um, live um, so that's how your name gets entered in here so I actually didn't have anybody that kind of shared the way I'm hoping to have you guys share so we're going to continue on with this giveaway so we'll do it um, on our next Facebook live which is going to be in two weeks so two weeks oops that's not it those are not the cards those are for later right so two weeks from now if you share Facebook live you will get all five of these cards from me um, it, well your name will go in the drawing right to win those five free cards so keep that in mind again share this Facebook live not just to your personal page any longer but to any paper crafting or crafting group that you're a part of that's how your name is going to get in that basket okay so again we'll give away those five free cards on our next facebook live which is going to be two weeks from today also okay um all right so i want to give oh and yes bonnie is on here so i want to congratulate bonnie pasternick and maria warren both promoted to silver this month uh, well actually back in october um, they had people take advantage of the awesome starter kit deal during um, the October special, right? And so they had the sales, which was $3,600 in rolling 12 month sales, and they just needed a new team member. So congratulations to both of them on getting those new team members, promoting to silver. And now, one sec, I gotta get a quick sip of water. <coughs> I'm feeling like I should probably just get a mint too while I'm at it. I might do that. Mm. But yeah, so, <clears throat> all right, got my Altoids here. I'm gonna try one of these. See if that'll help if I'm just kind of got that on my throat. Um, yes, now they every quarter get a 2% product bonus based on their sales for the previous quarter. So Stampin' Up! will look at their sales for October, November, December. Whatever those sales are, 2% of that number, they will get as a product credit to use on their next demonstrator order the following quarter. So that'll be in January. They'll get that credit to be able to use. Um, so that's one of the great benefits of promoting to silver. They also both get a $75 shopping spree from me for promoting to silver. <coughs> oh boy, is it going to be one of those days? Mm. I, I gotta get this, um, like the mint is not soothing my throat the way I need it to. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Teresa, how are you? Mm. Okay, we'll try one more sip of water. Okay. Um, it'll be better once I turn the camera down, then you won't be able to see me if I'm coughing. You'll just hear me instead, right? Um, okay. So, all right, we are going to do our next drawing, which is four. <clears throat> this is the super cute Mary and Bright stamp set. So sentiments in here. I love that little holly jolly right there, right? And then we've got this, oh, what fun. Oh, and Santa was here. Those are cute, right? And then these block um, images or sentiments to you and yours. Happy, so this is like a building, right? A, have a Merry Christmas. <coughs> and I'm sure you, excuse me, oh my goodness. You could do this Merry and Bright, right? So very cute uh, sentiments, right? And then fun imagery in that stamp set. Diane, hello, welcome. Sorry guys, I'm like having a moment here. Anyway, so we're gonna do our drawing. If you ordered through me using the host code, you automatically get all four of these cards, right? So I did these two cards on last week's Facebook Live, and then I was so excited about these cards and didn't have any orders the week before, so I decided if you order through me, you get all four of these cards as a thank you from me. You also got to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which features this super cute little, we um, did thank you cards this month actually. Um, so that's my fun little, it says, you warm my heart. And then on the inside, I did a thanks with that cute little sun inside there, right? Okay, so you could pick from that PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are, these are, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry guys, this is not <laughs> so good, is it? The Faceted Gems Trio Pack. Yes. Okay. Um, so. <coughs> All right, I'm getting myself together here. Names are in the drawing. We will toss these around and get one lucky winner for the Merry and Bright stamps up. <coughs> 
excuse me, I'm hoping like one last cough will like make it go away, but it's not. Oh my goodness. All right, so here we go. The winner, Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. You are the winner of the Mary and Bright stamp set. She actually also ordered over $100, so she also gets an additional five free cards as well. So if you order um, more than $100 each, you know, anytime that you order, you also get five additional cards in addition to your name in the drawing and the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, plus the cards that I demonstrate. So lots and lots of good stuff that you could receive. <coughs> okay, so on our, <laughs> my goodness, <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. I know. It's always worse when you're on these things, too, I think. Um, I'm going to get another quick sip of water. I'll be right back. <coughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, I was hoping that that mint would help. And then when you keep talking, that doesn't really help either, right? But I can't not be on Facebook Live and talk, right? That would be silliness. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, two weeks from today, this is finally orderable. It is the All About um, Autumn, yeah, right? All About Autumn Designer Series paper. So this is what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live. You guys have seen this paper, right? <coughs> Excuse me, this is probably awful to watch, isn't it? Okay, so, all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ooh! Oh my, this paper is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this is our designer series paper that we will be giving away if you order online through me. Love that copper kind of shimmer on the back side of that paper too, right? So there we go, the All About Autumn designer series paper. If you order online through me, I have a new host code for November. I will share that with you. It's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com as well. Cheryl, hello, welcome, thanks for joining. Okay, I think we are ready to, we're gonna flip. Ooh, actually, no, I gotta show you guys. There's a cute card. So my friend, uh, Jennifer, that we're gonna go to her house for our girls' craft-o-rama weekend, she made this super cute Halloween card and I received it just in time for Halloween and I have to share it with you guys. So it's one of those, well, let's see, it's kind of like a shaker card. Can you guys? Now it's not like not moving around, right? But anyway, so, so, so cute. So that little skeleton guy, and then there's one inside there with the boo to you, right? So, so, so cute. I love that card. And on the inside, she says, happy Halloween. See you soon. Heart Jennifer. So, so cute. I love that card. So thank you, Jennifer, for that card. And I can't wait to see you and Stacy and Melissa this afternoon. We are going to have some fun whole weekend of girl time, crafting, um, eating, maybe a cocktail, um, crafting, 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 chick flicks all weekend long, great music, just lots of fun and camaraderie. Very, very excited. <laughs> Diane, that's what I need, right? And then I'd probably be, oh my gosh. That is too funny, yes, yes. Oh, and Carla, actually, I see you're saying you really like this paper. And I needed to send a message. The paper just came in. So your designer series paper is here. I'm gonna put it out on the porch this afternoon. So give me a little bit. But anybody that was wanting the All About Autumn designer series paper, I finally have it ordered for you and I'm gonna put it out in packages on the porch. So like I said, give me a little bit this afternoon and I'll I'll let you know as soon as it's out there to pick up. So, And then I'm gonna go get some whiskey too, Diane. That's a I guess that's what I need. <laughs> yes, all right, woohoo, she says. <laughs> yes, you are a nurse, so you know. Yes, that's so funny. So that, like, this is my one memory. So Cade was born very prematurely. We spent, like, three months in the NICU with him, and I remember the nurses, because I was kind of uptight for a while there, right? Obviously, that was a pretty stressful time, but I remember the nurses telling me, Amy, you just need to go home and relax and have a beer. And I was like trying to pump at that time. And they're, they're like, cause I, and I was kind of having a hard time, I think, cause I was so stressed out with like producing enough milk to like, you know, for him. Um, and so they basically told me go home and like relax and have a beer and pump and just kind of like, you know, get that going. And they're like, you're probably gonna have to get rid of that, you know, first batch that you pump, but at least it kind of helps you relax and just kind of, 
I don't know, eases something inside of you so that you're able to like lactate and produce more milk. So anyway, it's just funny. But yeah, so I always remember that the nurses in the NICU telling me to go home and like drink basically so that I could relax and like produce more milk for my baby. So yes, the nurses know that's for sure, Miss Diane. <laughs> so very cute. Okay. All right. I think Let's see, I showed you guys everything here, right? Okay, so turn your heads away. Well, in one, yeah, in one sec, we're gonna fly through the air. Okay. Let me get myself all organized here. That's in a little bit, we're gonna do that. Okay, all right, so now, let's grab the host code too. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. <laughs> Whiskey, I love it, Diane. Okay. We will flip this camera down. You guys will see this host code for November. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. November host code right here. If you order through me, make sure you use that host code to get all of these Facebook Live benefits, right? <coughs> I'm going to do one last cough. <laughs> I'm going to knock on wood right now, right? To say, okay, we're not doing that anymore, right? Okay. Um, oh, I know what I want to show you guys is my class to go, All right? I'm just going to bring this whole batch of stuff over here. <laughs> it's a little bit of a hodgepodge, but this is, I have my little scribble notes. I do. Okay, good. Stars at night class to go. Yes, I've got like, here we go. You guys can see here is the stars at night stamp set beautiful imagery in the stamp set. I absolutely loved making these cards and sentiments. Celebrating the magic of the season. Merry Christmas. Wishing you the best and brightest holiday season. And then look at all of that beautiful imagery, which of course coordinates. So this one's kind of cool too. Like if you see, this is one die that does all three of these stars. This is not going to be to scale, but this one fits right on there. And then these others, there actually aren't stamps that coordinate with these two right here like there is with that one right there but great um like I love that you can kind of die cut all three of them at once too right out of designer series paper um I use the gold foil paper on these cards also <coughs> love <coughs> this little label die that one fits right on there too that's a very very cool right and then lots of other kind of star imagery there as well okay <laughs> Okay, so let me show you the cards, and then I'll show you everything that's available, right? So four cards, two of each in the class to go. Here's our first, celebrating the magic of the season, and I did just a little bit of stamping on the inside of each of these. Here's this one right here, too, with this die and that die right there, and then this gorgeous designer series paper, too, the shining brightly designer series paper, those little Merry Christmas right there. And then here, this one uses that one and that one right there with that wishing you the best and brightest holiday season with a little more stamping inside that one. Okay, so those are our four cards. Option number one gets you the stamp set, the dies, the full bolt of this beautiful black glittered, I'm not black, but Knight of Navy glittered ribbon. You get, oh, okay, these are kind of rolling around, but a full package of the Blooming Pearls. We also actually, you don't get these, but I'm going to give, well, I'm just going to give these to you. You get um, a couple of these little, the blue um, tinsel gems. You're going to use those as well. I don't normally show those, but I'm just going to throw those in for free. And then you get a half a pack, which is a six by 12 piece of this shining brightly designer series paper. So you can see those are all the patterns of the designer series paper. In option number one, you actually get this designer series paper for free. And then you're also going to get what you need of the gold foil paper too. No charge for that as well. In option number one, let's see. So all of that, the bundle, the ribbon, the pearls, the designer series paper that you get for free, the PDF tutorial, all the parts and pieces that tell you, you know, how to make these cards. Option number one is $92. Uh, option number two, and I think I'm trying to see, this is like uh, the actually the stamp set and the dies value $56.50 plus tax and shipping normally. So that's why it's kind of a hefty price on option number one because the value of the bundle alone is so much. Uh, option number two, but it's so gorgeous. Like love this stamp and die set, right? Option number two is if you already have the stamps and the dies. Hello, Danielle. Welcome, welcome. 
Okay, so option number two gets you the half a pack of designer series paper, gets you a full package of the blooming pearls, and a full bolt of the Knight of Navy and Gold glittered ribbon, plus the PDF tutorial. Uh, option number two is $37. Option number three is just the PDF tutorial, $15, or free to anyone that's in my downline. Any of my inspired stampers can get that for free. Also, option number four for my downline, they can get the... Um, make and take so they get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards i give them the ribbon the gems the designer series paper they need their own stamps and dies to do their stamping and die cutting uh, but option number four for my downline is fifteen dollars so two great reasons right there free pdf tutorials make and takes for only fifteen dollars buy the starter kit anytime and join our inspired stampers team so you can get those great deals as well right um let's see rsvps are due by let's see two weeks from today which is friday november 17th and the class to go kits will ship out or be available for pickup on the porch no later than november 30th so just in time for your christmas card making and yes thank you i i agree danielle it is absolutely gorgeous designer series paper isn't it? i love that night of navy navy blue one of my favorite love all blues but that traditional classic blue is definitely a favorite okay we're gonna scoot this little bundle out of the way oh there's my host code again all right <coughs> oh, excuse me all right i feel like maybe i should grab another mint too maybe i will i think i'm gonna grab another does anybody need an altoid <laughs> the curiously strong mint right okay I need the strength. Since I'm not going to go get my whiskey right now, Diane, I'll wait till after. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's see. I have to show you guys also. We are doing um, on stage. What are they calling it? On stage online, I guess. Yeah, on stage at home, right? So here we, it says, Stampin' Up! On stage at home. So they sent us. Here's kind of the box, right? So everyone that signed up within enough time, got one of these gift boxes. Um, on stage is happening, so it's basically like a convention we're going to do from the comfort of our own homes next Saturday, which is, I think, November 11, right? 11, 11. So I want to show you guys. Plus, I love, like, isn't this, the box is so cute, too. You can kind of see. So I walked up, and this was, like, on my porch steps, this cute little box. And then inside, oh, my gosh, so can you see? So they just do such a great job with their packaging. Okay, so this is so cool. This is a Stampin' Up! 35 years a puzzle, right? And like truly, and plus I like the box alone is super duper cute, right? So let's see. Oh, I don't know what this is. It's almost like a little, um, I don't know, placemat or something, right? But Or maybe that's the, is that the puzzle? Maybe that's the little guide for my puzzle. Because then look at, that must be what it is, right? All of these pieces in here. Okay, so we'll see if this ever gets made. That's probably what it is. So the puzzle is going to look like like this, right? It's going to say on stage. That's super cute, right? Okay, so this might not be too hard. You find all the little polka dots. You find some of the blocky color. Okay, interesting. But like I said, the box alone, I'm like, oh, so cute, right? Can you guys see it very well? I know I'm trying to show. Oops, and then I'm like bumping things, but... So there, you kind of get an idea of the box, right? It's really like nice and substantial too. So <coughs> again, it's like I love the box as much as what's inside. We've got some cute pens here too. And I'm trying to see, are any of these, I'm trying to look at these colors. Um, yeah, these aren't any new colors though, I don't think, because that looks like Night of Navy. That's going to be Wild Wheat, and I'm going to say Flirty Flamingo. <coughs> We have socks, stamping up 35 years socks. <laughs> Super cute, huh? Right? And then, oh, here's a pin, right? Oh, such a cute pin too, right? I love that, the on stage. So, so, so cute. And then we have like a journal right here too. I haven't even opened these things up because I wanted to show you guys oh, on the Facebook Live. So are we able to see? Ooh, it's beautiful. And this is like a weighty, like this is serious. So it's got one of these little rubber bands. You can kind of, oh, it holds it together or it can kind of um, keep your page. Oh my gosh, there are stickers in here. So cute. And then probably lots of, yeah, so kind of just pages and pages and pages to do lots of like 
journaling and doodling or well the idea is when we're sitting and watching on stage at home we can take notes with our little pens in our little journal and it's not little like look at that's not quite eight and a half by 11 but very good size plus it's so cute right we're gonna reconnect apparently okay there we go um photo props okay so we got to open this up it looks like maybe oh my okay oh yeah <laughs> So if you want to take pictures, <coughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. There's like a little hat right here. Okay, so it's kind of like a little photo booth, right? Probably. So you can hold these little signs up. We've got on stage, stamping up 35 years. There are some more. Yeah, okay. I don't want them all to like fall out, but you, oh my gosh, so cute. There's like a, <laughs> so these are glasses. You could put these on. You got like a little bow tie. Okay. I'm going to, like, maybe over Thanksgiving, I'm going to have some fun with my kids and have them. <laughs> Look at these. We've got the, hello, my name is, and the little 35 years. Oh, these are super cute. All right, these are going to be fun. I can see, you know, maybe taking pictures, and then they've got all the little, you know, we can tack them onto these things and um, hold them up. Oh, very, very, very cute. That's a fun idea. Okay, so, yeah, I can see taking some pictures and maybe using those in another way later too maybe maybe on cards or something even right okay so fun little gift box that they sent love that and again love the box itself too right okay uh let's see are we ready to do our stamping i think yeah are you guys ready ready to see some stamping i know i am okay <coughs> okay i think Maybe I'm doing a little bit better here. <laughs> okay. So we have our grid paper, our first card, ladies. <laughs> okay, one more sip of water. All right. So again, using the sparkling snowflake stamp set. Okay, so here's my first project. I love this color combo. So we've got, this is Coastal Cabana and Fresh Regia with this beautiful, it's the silver and white sheer ribbon, which I think is unorderable right now, but it, I think it's coming back in in like the next week or so. So just hang tight. If you really love this ribbon and want it, like I said, you can always email me and I can help um, get it ordered for you too, okay? Uh, but I couldn't not use it because I thought it worked so well with this card, right? And here you can see <laughs> we actually used it on our meeting make and takes um, and it was unorderable. And I feel like maybe then I was able to order it and everybody got like a half a bolt. And so this was my half a bolt. <laughs> you know, I got to take one half off and send the other half to somebody. So anyway, it's just this beautiful like shimmery, Beautiful, beautiful, glittery, gauzy with the little silver edge ribbon, right? Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you what we're going to do here. Okay, we got our stamps out. I'm just going to put the ribbon. So pretty, though. And our inks. Okay, so let me tell you about dimensions for this project. Okay, and always, 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 I will include all of the details on these cards on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. So if you miss any of the measurements or product codes or names of anything, it'll all be on there later today. Okay. So Coastal Cabana cardstock along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five inches. <coughs> all right. <clears throat> Trying to keep it together. Okay, so there is our card base, right? Then we have a piece of, this is Fresh Freesia cardstock that measures four by four and three quarters. And then this little white piece that goes right inside there, three and seven eighths by four and five eighths. So that kind of layers just right inside there. So that just kind of peeks out. Then we have a piece of fresh freesia cardstock. And this one, actually, you're going to cut it down. Mine is five inches, but it's going to end up being four and a quarter inches by one and a half inches. This is just to do our die cutting with this little scallop edge, right? So these are the scalloped contours dies, okay? And then I've got another little piece of fresh freesia. I thought it was easier than trying to, like, 
measure how far down do I die cut. I just went with two different pieces. So this one's gonna go along the top and then this one goes along the bottom. So this is just a little half inch strip, four and a quarter by a half inch. And that's just gonna peek out of the top there, just that little bit, okay? And then we have one more piece. This is basic white cardstock that measures four and a quarter by one inch. That's for our sentiment. And then this little piece we're gonna use for our snowflake right there, okay? So we are gonna do Let's start with our stamping just for that piece right there. Oh, the other thing that I did. Where's my little, I need my scrap paper here. <clears throat> when I stamped these, they're pretty substantial, like the colors when I stamped these full strength. And I'll show you because I'm going to stamp it off. I liked them a little bit lighter. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Thanks for joining us. So I liked them to be a little bit softer in look. So I inked it up, stamped it on scrap paper, and then put it onto my white cardstock, okay? So I'll show you that in a little more detail in a sec. We're gonna just do this one snowflake. So I've got my Coastal Cabana ink, and I'm gonna stamp it. So that's pretty serious, right? And I liked it a little bit lighter, so then I stamp it there. And especially this bigger one, it was, it was just too much to me anyway. Um, so I wanted it to look a little bit um, more dainty, I guess I would say. So, okay, we're going to close that up. We'll come back and do our other stamping in a sec after we do these couple of die cuts, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's scoot these things out of the way. So we want to, we're going to die cut this piece right here. And I'm like moving everything around. And then, and it's funny because I grab these all the time. So these are the all that dies. Um, I use like these label things right here. These four labels, I use them all the time. So even if you didn't think you needed these dies, I really think that you do just because I love these labels. This is a very classic, such a, a nice, I don't know, there's something about kind of the little corners on that one. I'm going to use this little circle that has the scallop edge on it too. So again, the all that dies, this is kind of part of a masculine suite from our annual catalog. I think it might have even been last year, but I love those label dies in there. So use them all the time. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to die cut these and then we'll come back and do the rest of our stamping. Okay. All right, so we just need to get that lined up my glasses on so we can see what we're doing there so we're gonna get that one lined up there and then this one it doesn't matter just so long as I have a scallopy edge somewhere on here the height of it I guess is what I'm saying when I say it doesn't matter right okay so I love <laughs> just so cute right that's another classic. If you don't have those, the scallop contours dies. All that dies right here. Scallop contours dies right here. Got to have both of those. Must have, must use, need, use all the time. Okay, here's all of our scallop contours dies too. Let me put that one. <coughs> there we go. Right? Yep. If you don't have those, got to have those too. Okay. <coughs> All right, so I think I can scoot this baby out of the way. Toot -toot -loo. All right, so let's come back. We're gonna do some more stamping. So I need to kind of have this as my guide right here, right? Okay, so can you guys see what we're doing here too? Okay, so I'm gonna start with, and I actually thought it was easier to kind of build like from, the top down. Sometimes I'll just go in and kind of stamp all of like the fresh freesia ones and fill in. And I that was harder for me this time. So I decided I'm going to just go with, actually, you know what, maybe we'll do this right here because it's going to kind of go off the edge, right? Okay, so I'm going to stamp that and then I'm going to put one right there. And then I'm going to come back in with a coastal cabana. I'm going to stamp that and I'm going to put that one right there. And then come back in with another fresh freesia. And what I realized was you can kind of see on this one, be careful when you stamp off. I stamped off with this fresh freesia too close to my coastal cabana and I picked up a little bit of that blue. So make sure when you stamp off, do it in the same area 
so that you don't pick up any of that other color there as well, okay? All right, so we're gonna just do that one right there. So ink it up, stamp it off, put that one right there. And then one more, we're gonna ink it up, stamp it off, put that one right there. And then I use this little baby guy. I guess I ended up only using him once, didn't I? Right there. <laughs> I think I want one more of him too. Put him right there. There we go, okay? So, beautiful, hello, Anna. Thanks for joining us. Oop, you know what else I need to do, but not actually with this one. We are gonna stamp on our little white strip. We have our sentiment, which is right here. Make the season sparkle. I'm gonna stamp that right over there in the corner. There we go, okay. I think we are ready to put our card together. <clears throat> I think I have everything, right? I kind of have it all spread out. Okay, we're going to scoot those things out of the way. Okay. Yep, here we go. Okay, so we are going to, got adhesive. All right, so we're going to adhere. <laughs> oh, yes, we did get some snow this week, right? I was laughing, um, at least here in Alma, where I am, um, literally driving home from work. It's a little after five o'clock, and it was like, like clockwork. Someone was like, okay cue the snow like right as trick-or-treating started at 5 30 it started snowing like unbelievable it was crazy I'm like poor kids and it was kind of that wet you know snow or I mean it did actually stick to the ground some too which was kind of like super crazy right but wet enough too that it probably you know those poor kids and parents were feeling like they're like um you know, getting rained on basically. So that was kind of a, you know, people seem to still have fun, but it does put a little bit of a damper. I didn't want to be outside. That's for sure. I was all bundled up, um, standing inside the house. Last year I was able to sit on the porch and kind of pass out candy. And this year I'm like, I'm not doing that. Way too cold for that. So bundled up and just stood inside the house. Okay. So I just, I don't know. I, I never am sure if I'm going to like where I kind of, um, do things. So I like to kind of um, just, I'm going to cut that off basically. So, because then I, I make sure that I like, I could have scooted it over a little bit more. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think it, it looks good, right? But this is what I was trying to explain before was you never know exactly the width that you need um, to show what you want to show. So I think it's easier to do two pieces rather than one. And then you don't have to worry about where you die cut that. So you can kind of manipulate things a little bit better. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, then we're gonna add this piece right along the top. <laughs> Did I go? Yeah, I think I must have stamped down a little bit further because you can barely see that one. Um, yeah, I had originally stamped on a full piece and then I didn't like it, it was kind of popping up um, behind there, so I cut it down a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple of dimensionals on the back of our little pretty pretty here. So we are going to add that guy right there and then I'm gonna grab my <laughs> my ribbon. Is it just so pretty though? It's like all fluffy and beautiful. So okay, we are gonna just tie. This is the silver and white sheer ribbon. We're gonna tie a pretty bow. <clears throat> I tend to kind of turn my card sideways, I feel like. So I just tied it basically in a little knot there. And then we're going to kind of work this through right here. And I am, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm like obsessed with tying bows around the top of my card like this. Um, I think it was like a few years ago I saw Erica Sirwin do it on one of her cards on the Pink Buckaroo. And like I just fell in love with it. Um, so yeah, I tend to, especially lately, maybe it's like Christmas cards. I just think it's so pretty. Um, adds so much to your card to kind of wrap that around in that pretty bow, right? Okay, we're going to scoot that ribbon out of the way, right? And then one last little detail. You guys know me. I love my bling. So we are going to grab our bling right here. And where are my other scissors? I think I have them. I know. It. Oh, they're, they're buried underneath all my dimensionals. That's what it is. Okay, so I used some of the blue and some of, I'm going to say white. So behind the, 
or I guess not behind, but on top of the Fresh Freesia, I used kind of the white color right there. And then I used, I think um, it's a balmy blue, actually, if I remember correctly. Did I get the? Yeah. It's funny how sometimes it feels like there's no glue dot, but it's just, there we go. Okay, so we got that one there. We are going to add this one, and it's just kind of wherever you see them, right? Do a couple of the littler ones, too. These are still some of my favorites. I think these were from the um, mini, like the spring mini catalog last year, and I'm so glad they carried over into our current annual catalog because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. These are some of my most favorite. These are called the Iridescent Pastel Gems. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful bling there, right? Okay, so there is project number one, make the season sparkle. Okay, I'm gonna just scoot those right over here. We are going to clean these stamps because I think I'm using <clears throat> a few of them. We're gonna just clean them all too. All right, so use my little chamois. I think it was Robin who asked last week, haven't haven't wet it yet. It's getting more dry. It's like creeping in further and further, the dryness. Probably about time to um, clean this, you know, rinse it with some water. But I don't know. It's like every time I do this, I clean and then I double check and it looks good. So love it, love it, love it. All right, we're going to get the ink out of the way. And I will show you guys the next project. I just can't remember which of those stamps. I know I use a few of them. On our next, I'm so excited to show this one to you guys also, because it is another beauty. We just did more stamping. I'm all about like using these stamps to kind of almost create our own designer series paper. And then I had to do another one of those bows, tying it around the top of my card. Okay, so let me show you. This is another kind of beautiful, um, color combination azure afternoon and balmy blue are what we're going to use on this one so yeah i'm all about the blues too the blues are my absolute favorite any shade of blue favorite favorite color we actually use i'm going to show you guys this one thinking about it this is lost lagoon i kind of popped that into so this is uh what are they calling this i'm going to show you guys all of it the soft shimmer it's the Soft Shimmer 12 by 12 Specialty Paper, item code 161750. And you can see, so there we go, kind of can see the different shimmery. So here's Lost Lagoon, there's Night of Navy, there's Fresh Freesia, uh, or maybe it's Bubble Bath. Berry Burst is in there also. So beautiful kind of shimmery glimmer paper, but soft, right? Not quite, it's not as coarse maybe as some of them that we've used before, but beautiful paper there. Okay, <clears throat> so we are going to use that one there and that one there. And then did I use the littlest one? I might have. I'm going to just keep that one out too. <laughs> I'm not even quite sure. But we'll see as we're putting things together. Okay, so for this one, we have the Azure Afternoon. <laughs> yes, love the blue for Christmas too, Philomena. I agree, just something a little bit different, right? Okay, so here's our Azure Afternoon card stock along, again, it's a tall card. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's your card base, right? Then layer of balmy blue card stock that measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then basic white that layers just peeking outside around the edges of that four by five and a quarter inches right there. And then I have extra cardstock Azure Afternoon and the basic white to do our little banner um, die cutting there. Okay, so let's do, let's do our die cutting first and then we can do all of our stamping, okay? So we're going to use those right there. We have, these are called the Nested Essentials dies. And these are kind of a must-have with all of these different tags. I would call them tags, labels, whatever you want to say that they are. But we're going to use these flag taggy things right here, those largest two today. But love that label. And then this is a very cool um, kind of label as well there, right? <clears throat> okay. So let's grab... Normally I do my stamping first, but I wanna make sure I get my sentiment 
and my snowflake where I want them after. So this time I'm going to stamp after I die cut. Generally, especially if um, you know it needs to fit perfectly, you're going to want to stamp and then die cut. But in this case, we're going backwards. We're going rogue here, ladies. All right. So here we go, cranking through our little die cutting machine. Okay, so there is our basic white cardstock. And then our Azure Afternoon, the little banner pieces there. Okay. Let's just scoot those. Here, we just need these things right here, right? Okay, so we're going to stamp on this one. Let's just do this. We'll have this all set. Okay, so we're going to do, here's our card. We're going to stamp the Let It Snow in the Azure Afternoon ink. And that's going to go maybe right about there, right? And then we're going to use... Yeah, I did use all three of them. Okay, so we're going to ink that up in the balmy blue, stamp it off, and we're going to add that. So isn't that so pretty? Beautiful, right? Love those blues. Okay, now same idea. We're going to kind of sprinkle. Okay, so I got to make sure I got the biggest one and the littlest one in the Azure Afternoon, and then the medium size in the balmy blue. Okay, so we're going to stamp that off. So there's a good example, right? How kind of substantial that is. Because it's still, there's still a lot to it, I would say, right there, right? Okay, so we're going to do this one in balmy blue. Stamp that one right there. I'm going to do another one in balmy blue. Stamp that one right there. We're going to come back and do another azure afternoon. That one right there. Okay, let's see. Another balmy blue. Put that one down there. We're actually going to do a couple of little ones. Can you guys see in the azure afternoon? We're going to put one right there. And then one right there. Let's do one more big one in the azure afternoon. That one goes there balmy blue that one right there so you can see how easy this is right it's just so fun and beautiful i think we're going to do one more small azure afternoon we're going to put it right there and actually nope i think we're good i was going to do one more but i'm okay yeah i tend to go like maybe too overboard sometimes so we're gonna we're gonna call it good right there ladies okay so Scoot those out of the way. And you guys can tell, right? So I have my balmy blue ink and my balmy blue cardstock, right? And then I've got my Azure Afternoon ink and my Azure Afternoon cardstock. Most perfect, beautiful thing about Stampin' Up! And then our Azure Afternoon ribbon as well. So that coordination of all of those colors is awesome, right? Oh, and you know what I forgot? We need to die cut these little stars, which are actually from, uh, did I move those? Oh, I think I, oh, I know why, because from our class to go, we're going to use this teeny tiny, all I want is that one, because these are ridiculously small. I, <laughs> I die cut those, and I was like, I can barely even, like, handle those, so we're going to use that one right there, so you can see I did use, I did three of them, so I already cut a couple of them, and they're in my, they're here. Oh yeah, they're upside down. That's why I can't see them very well. <laughs> I, I was like, you don't need to watch me die cut a million of these, but I meant to do one and I forgot. So we've got those two right there. We're going to do one more from this little die set here. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do that. And then, then we can really put everything together. Okay. So we've got our little strip here. What did I do with my die? <laughs> it's here, right? Yes, it's right here. Okay. Shoo wee. There. It's like when I can't find the dimensionals and they're literally right in front of my face, right? Okay. There we go. And I think. Okay, so I'll show you how small these things are. <laughs> they're like crazy. So can you see actually? Oh yeah, they're both down there still. 
So this one stayed in. But can you guys see? I mean, can you see how tiny those things are? <laughs> like, I'm not using those. Somebody else who's who's better, more adept. <laughs> but not, not me. I'm not using those. <laughs> so we've got the larger one of these. There we go. Okay. So even that one's not too big, right? <laughs> okay. And I'm going to need my little silicone mat to do my adhesive for those too. Okay. <clears throat> so... Let's go ahead, we're gonna add our basic white card stock, okay, onto our balmy blue piece. Okay, and then our balmy blue and basic white. Then we're gonna add those on to our card, okay. I'm gonna put some adhesive on our let it snow little banner. I love these banners. Oops, that's a little bit crooked, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, grab a couple dimensionals, put these behind here. Okay, we're going to add that on, maybe right about there. And now, okay, we're going to carefully, we got that little guy had to add like a little bit more texture I guess to the card okay so there we go we got both of those guys there okay so we're gonna flip these over and gotta use your silicone mat for these teeny tiny little pieces when you're trying to add adhesive because otherwise you get adhesive like all over your grid paper and that's just kind of annoying I think so we're gonna do one there we're gonna do one there and we're gonna do one right there, okay? Then, ha ha, love, love, love. This is such a beautiful ribbon. Okay, we're gonna tie this bow right around our card again. Okay, make a pretty, pretty bow here. So I'm just tying it in a knot right there, right? So we got that. Ah, this was one of your first sets, huh? Awesome, Carla. I know, it's such a pretty one. So sometimes I feel like I like tie it up too much there we go that doesn't look like it's so sometimes it's like it gets curled up too much so feel free to like reset yourself if things don't look quite right when you're making a bow okay <clears throat> and so that's not very pretty right now right so you kind of just have to work with it a little bit right so I like to kind of hold the knot tighten it up we can like to kind of scoot it just be gentle or you're going to rip the sides there right Okay, that looks better. Okay, my scissors. We're gonna just take that one there and be careful not to cut through your strip right there. That would not be good, would it, huh? Okay, so there, we're good with that. Now, uh, blue and silver, yes, that's a good, that's an awesome color combination also, Miss Carla. Hi, Charlene, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, so you guys can see, I've obviously been loving, these are the pastel adhesive back sequins. I had two packages of them, and they're pretty well loved at this point, but we are basically gonna use, these are balmy blue, so we're gonna use some of these little balmy blue sparkles on our card, okay? So we're just gonna kinda add a few uh right here and right here we've got that one can go right there so anywhere i'm kind of just putting them like sprinkling them around anywhere on the centers of my snowflakes i'm kind of adding a little there we go I think that looks good, right? Okay, so let's scoot those little babies out of the way. So I love, I don't know if you can tell, but so there are gold. There's one gold left, right? I'm gonna have to get another pack. These are probably um, the new pink, um, 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 bubble bath, and then balmy blue. Gorgeous, huh? So yeah, it's on, it's on my list to get another package of those, that's for sure. Okay, we'll scoot everything out of the way. So don't forget, ladies, okay, we have... 
where's my little my little list of everything that you get if you order online through me which i truly truly appreciate right you're going to get one of each of these product projects today's projects if you order online through me fifty dollars or more right uh your name is going to be entered into the drawing to win the beautiful and now available to order again the all about autumn designer series paper and then lastly you get to pick from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial oops where is that project here it is <laughs> like there's so much on my table right okay so the demo design dream team pdf tutorial featuring this super cute little you warm my heart card or if you don't want the pdf tutorial you can pick the free embellishment for november which are the faceted gems trio pack all right, here's the host code. Make sure you use this host code when you order through me. And again, I truly appreciate your orders. So thank you guys so much for watching. I loved making these cards for you today. I hope you enjoyed them as well. And thank you, Monica. I just see you popping on here too. All right, have a great weekend, ladies. We'll be back here two weeks. And two weeks from today, on it's gonna be Friday, November 17th. All right, thanks guys. Bye everybody. Have a great weekend.